but most people don't even know who I am. So as far as uh, so many people are surprised that it's me who went to Drupal account, and I'd like more people to know about that because uh, I can tell their story through the Drupal account. Um, Interesting. So you're here today because you want to be a star. No, I know. <laughs> I, I I run the social media because I don't like being a star. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I really feel that the point of what I do is to bring out stories from the community. Mm. I really like finding out who built something and then talking with them. Hey, so what problem were you having? What, you know, what was your challenge? Why were you doing this? And look, and look how many people you've helped and, and you know, talk those kind of stories too. So, so in the same way, I think as you run Drupal social media, essentially, um, to highlight right? To, to uplift, yep. to expose great, interesting things going on in Drupal that I consider that my mission, essentially. Yeah, well, that, I suppose I do a similar thing. I'm, I'm always looking for opportunities. Uh, I use social media to um, monitor what's going on in Drupal in the world and to kind of shine a, a, a spotlight on those things. It's a very, very powerful thing if, if, if the, the Drupal Twitter account mentions something that someone is doing. Sure. Just one person, uh, it can either be used to you know, show this is a really good idea and maybe more people should follow that idea yeah. or it could be a particular um, interesting use of Drupal that uh, should be celebrated. Uh, it's not just the people in the community. We're, we're, I'm trying to um, you know, grow Drupal adoption as well uh, yeah. because not everyone realizes what Drupal is used for. Yeah, right? Yes. Deal? Boing. <laughs> Welcome to the Acquia podcast, Drupal technology, community, and business. Welcome to the Acquia podcast, Drupal technology, community, and business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. So how many followers does at Drupal have on Twitter? Uh, it's uh, about 65,000 now. It's, it's growing very, very steadily. Hmm. Um, I mean, when I first took it over, it only had about 40,000. Um, and uh, it was used for um, really quite um, interesting things like, you know, the next security release is coming out. It wasn't telling a story. It, uh, it, it wasn't really interesting. And I didn't think it was providing much value to the Drupal project. Uh, uh, so... Uh, I um, decided, I, I proposed that it, it should be used for, um, um, you know, there's a lot more images on it. Um, I'm trying to make it so that it's more reflective of the diversity of uh, the global community. Right, and it's, it's a community channel now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it does have those important announcements, but it also has almost like a magazine element to it, really. Mm. So whenever uh, there's a camp on, if there's some, something fascinating going on there or even if it's just a um a, a region where you wouldn't expect drupal to be uh you know just a group photograph of a camp that you just want to recognize that it's actually happening that's and that's nice that's nice and i love i look at every single one of those i have yeah. to admit it so paul johnson you might not know but he is the face behind at drupal on twitter and at drupalcon and at all the other drupalcon uh, uh twitter accounts europe asia north america runs the Drupal group on Facebook and on LinkedIn. Is that right? Yep, yep. yep. Well, uh, you can't assume that um, where people are hanging out because we're a global community. Sure. Um, so we need to be in most places. It's interesting. I find it especially interesting that you are running these accounts, and, and I think you're doing a great job. Um, I really appreciate that. I, I don't use all of those, as you say. <clears throat> Not everybody uses the same stuff, but it's, it's, it's great. It's a great set of resources. In some ways, you seem to be a last vestige of the old Drupal at this point in that everything in the Drupal community used to be volunteers. Mm -hmm. I did scholarships for DrupalCons for, for, for a little bit. And, um, you know, over time, the Drupal associations pulled a lot of things in-house. How is it that you're still doing that? Yeah, I, people commonly make the mistake that I actually work for the Drupal Association. I'm just a, a volunteer in the community. Um, I don't have a really good answer to that question. Um, have you just made yourself irreplaceable and, and therefore... Well, I don't really want to be irreplaceable because, you know, um, uh, there would be, I've, I suppose um, 
one of the things I've, oh, I, I do tend to challenge things. I, I, I'm not a subservient. Um, uh, I am trying to, to push push the boundaries a little bit, um, even to the extent where I will mention uh, commercial uh, successes on the Drupal account, which was never done before. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of propose these things, um, and uh, even uh, Dries has um, commented on um, his approval of some of the things that I've I've suggested. And we've we've tried them out, and the community hasn't come back and said, hmm. um, you know, this this is inappropriate. Um, but generally, the Drupal channels are kind of used for uh, anything which is for the good of Drupal. So it could even be that a an organisation like uh, Commerce Guys, the 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 the, the changes that have gone in their organisation, is interesting to the wider community. So the commercial ecosystem yeah. of what we're doing is a very important part of most of our lives yeah. if we're paying our rent with it. So how how mergers, acquisitions, business plans, distributions are going, that's all mm. potentially relevant, right? Yeah, I mean, why am I still a volunteer? Um, I suppose it has become more and more successful. Um, uh, if we look to uh, how, uh, so I divided up, proposed dividing up the Drupalcon accounts um, a couple of years ago, and uh, we, we've seen the the craziness that went on in um, in, in Asia um, just a few weeks ago, and that some of what happened there wouldn't have been possible if we hadn't have done that separation because it got really really noisy right. um, around the people who were following that account, and in other parts of the world. Um, the, it didn't really matter to them. Um, so you can imagine that someone like um, at the White House might be following the DrupalCon account. And yeah, they don't want to have all of that happening okay. uh, in their in their Twitter stream. Okay, so it's a perfect and, and case for uh, granularity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I suppose it's kind of uh, shows that there's a necess necessity to, to kind of divide because we're growing. Um, and I think it's uh, quite exciting. In fact, um, DrupalCon Asia was um, as much as if you factor it down to the number of attendees was twice as, as active on social media as any other conference. Well, India is the land of the selfie. Mm. <laughs> it, it, it is a staple of being there. Yeah. Uh, fascinating. Oh, I didn't even go. Um, right. But, you know, just through the keys and looking on, on, no, but there on was the screen, it was like I could feel going the, the electricity yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. Place. So how many hours a day would you say you spend uh, with these accounts? Oh, um, yeah. I probably spend about an hour a day. Um, one thing I like about the, the the role I have is that I can do it wherever I am. It, I do it on when I'm waiting for a train or yeah. um, I, late at night when my family have gone to bed. Um, yeah, I, an hour, maybe a little bit more each day, which, which does add up, but I get so much satisfaction out of it. There's nothing more I like than to hear um, that – it's made a difference to somebody, or I've 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 heard something and made other people aware of it privately. It's maybe solved a problem. Um, social media is used for quite a lot of things. Mm. Um, it, it, it you can kind of detect the well-being of 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 people even. Oh sure. Um, there have been occasions where um, people have used social media to to to, to raise um, uh, concerns, and um, we can pr take that offline and and. The community is very, very good at mm. addressing those sorts of things. So it's not just a, like a marketing channel. It, right. Um, it is part of uh, the way that Drupal is able to, to achieve a global um, reach, I suppose. So we are sitting at Drupal Camp London 2016. Please introduce yourself and tell us who you are and what you do uh, at your day job. Okay. Um, so I work for a company in Manchester called CTI Digital. Um, we specialize in um, quite large Drupal websites. Um, I'm quite proud of a couple of projects that we've done uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, one is uh, london.gov.uk, um, which is a uh, part of the transformation of the Mayor of London's um, digital presence and changing the way that um, the Mayor uh, communicates with the people of London. So it's gone from very much a, a website which was just a, a document repository mm. um, to a place where there is this um, um, encouraging conversation between two-way conversation, like a citizen engagement. Yeah. And then the other project that uh, we've done um, is uh, Great Ormond Street Hospital. So uh, they're a, a charity um, that raise money to fund the hospital 
Um, so they, they, they are an NHS trust, but they um, add the, the charity do uh, donations to the money they have from the government to be one of the best paediatric hospitals in the world. Yes. Um, and they moved from a proprietary software over to Drupal um, with our help. Um, and it's really put them in a place where they can start to innovate and mm. have more um, rewarding experiences for ultimately the, the ch to support the children that come to the hospital. So we found out that 54% um, of the traffic was from mobile devices and primarily that was from parents and children inside the hospital with um, trying to find out about um, you know, what was going to happen to them in the hospital or um, so it really sort of like a, a very human element mm. to, to the project um, so yeah I'm very very proud of that project and uh, they they now they're in a, such a good, a, a good place um, they, they're innovating um, producing yeah being able to tell the story better uh, for instance um, they have a documentary that is on the BBC yeah. and uh, in we had five weeks notice that this was going to go on um, previously they wouldn't have been able to react quickly enough to kind of capitalize on that um, and to tell their story uh, they introduced a just giving integration right. in a very short space of time um, so D D D Drupal is um, uh, really um, <laughs> helping their organisation now, it, 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 digital has become kind of the the hub of what they do. Mm. Whereas before, it was they were kind of wading through the molasses, I suppose. Right, and it, it, I, my impression is that it was a you know it was an add on. It's at some point, someone said they should have a website, but you know, five, ten, twenty years ago, yeah, yeah, it was, didn't it wasn't a good reflection of the way that they operate right. their business. It in was the a, real world. it was the old model of things are just tacked on top of whatever we're yeah, doing. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. How did you discover Drupal, and when was that? Um, I can't really, um, it was about 2005, um, it was just before um, DrupalCon Barcelona, um, that was the real sort of pivotal moment for me, um, the first one, um, I must have googled it, uh, I was commissioned to replace um, a, a custom made content management system much like many people at that time, they'd built their own system and uh, yeah, it well, was just... Um, including those crazy people who built Drupal, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Ralph, I just never looked back from that moment. And so did I, you I go loved... to the first Drupal Con Barcelona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, then you were hooked? Uh, absolutely. I mean, the, the thing for me was, just like this event, you know, uh, I'd encourage anyone to go to, uh, if, whether it's just a meetup or uh, a camp, just go and meet other people who are using Drupal, even if it's just two people in, in, a, in a cafe. Um, yeah. It's just so nice to be able to uh, meet and share ideas or realize that the you know, challenges that you, you're approaching, you're not the only people in the world are doing that. Or yeah. maybe you've got um, ideas to share. Or you know. So the, I contend that our killer app is not actually our code, but it's the fact that it's tens of thousands of smart people trying to solve hard problems together. I think that's, yeah. my, that's my favorite thing about yeah, Drupal, yeah. for sure. So let's talk just a little bit about uh, when Drupal 8 was about to come out, uh, October 2015. Mm -hmm. You sent me an email. I've got this idea how we could, you know, get some excitement going about this thing. We've been waiting for it a long time. I have this really yep. cool idea. Um, I think... I think my crew in Cologne, we came up with the hashtag. You did. Yeah. Right, which was celebrate D8 with some eights in place. Yeah, well, it was basically, a, I think we just had like an email thread that was um, yeah. Campbell that was on it. and So I, I, probably Campbell Vertesi, Robert Douglas, yeah. Adam Duran, yeah. you, me. Well, I, I kind of sent an email to you, th you for five right. and said, The notorious guys. DrupalCon pre note crew. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're big enough troublemakers. Help me out with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have the answers to everything. And sometimes it's nice to um, um, tap into the, the creative yeah. minds that uh, Drupal have. And uh, well, it all started actually. Um, it was uh, Barris Wansha um, um, at DrupalCon Amsterdam came and gave me a huge hug at the, um, the trivia night. And he, 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 said, he whispered into my ear and said, what are you going to do about the release of Drupal 8? Because he and I had, had spoken, I think it was back in Munich, mm. uh, and we kind of self-appointed ourselves as the people who would, would do it because he was involved in the Drupal 7 release. And my heart sank, really, because I thought, 
oh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do huh. um, because we'd we'd done I'd done a um, a tag cloud at um, the conference um, to 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 kind of um, celebrate the the, the people who contributed to um, to Drupal eight and it, it was in the shape of a, a Drupal logo and um, we kind of printed it out and it was quite big a few meters wide and uh, I I was bowled away at the the I didn't say for anyone to do it, what they should do with it or um, anything and people just in the um, the hall just started taking photographs and sharing it and you know people were it was like hallowed ground almost no one would tread on it and mm. uh, it created a huge buzz and and I did think when Barry said um, about this I, I thought how am I gonna gonna beat that because he got thousands of retweets and yeah. mentions. And, uh, but it was thanks to, I had a half baked idea, uh, about, um, trying to make a, a film, which in some way, um, told the story of how Drupal 8 was going to be exciting. Yeah. Um, but the important thing to me was it was a global collaboration with people with lots of different backgrounds, and right. colors and creeds and, um, just you know, people who work for companies, people who um, just volunteer their time, and somehow I wanted in like a, a short video, right? And all of that, that in a minute and a half, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and but you guys kind of made it more than I could have ever Im imagine. Yeah, so we we tied down the concept a bit, and then I wrote you wrote a script, a, a script, and <clears throat> I really wanted to focus on this feeling of community. Mm. We have done this thing together and we're giving it to you and you are now empowered to go and make the world a better place, yeah. essentially, um, in, a, in a little bit longer form. And then we sort of combined our address books and I spent several nights uh, shooting out hundreds of emails to different people around the world saying, hey, we're doing this project. It's got to be ready in a week, I think, or 10 yeah. days. Yeah. Read well, we didn't this. know when it was ruined. Well, was going to we, come out. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, and um, and you know, please read this thing, and and somehow at a location that's typical of where you're from, and we'll cut it together. And um, you know, a, a ton of really really interesting stuff came in, and we had some challenges with you know sound quality and picture, mm. but the the resulting video is really beautiful, and I think you know I'm I'm very proud that we managed to do that. And uh, um, so how did that do on social media when we put up the? So there's a website. Right, which is at celebratedrupal8.com. Celebrate.drupal8. Celebratedrupal8.com. Celebrate right, because, because the extra bit to it was um, that we, we, we did this um, introductory video that was kind of a, a crescendo and acceleration, but right. we wanted everyone else to then record um, something that, what, what did Drupal8 mean to them? Why were right. they excited? So and we had this call to action where people could submit their own videos to this site. And there are several, I mean... There's, there's like a hundred or more. Yeah. yeah. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of videos on this website. And it's really beautiful. And it's these, you know, simple community testimonials. It's yeah. it's really, really lovely. So I'm really, really glad we did that. That was a lot of yeah. fun. I mean, as far as, uh, you know, the stats, uh, I, I wrote a blog post. Because one of the things that uh, I, I'd like to try and scale um, what I've done um, and I kind of open sourced all of the the thinking behind it so that other people could take the idea or evolve it uh, because there's only me doing the social media for Drupal and, uh, and well I get help from um, people uh, when there's a DrupalCon there's a local person so Alex Lowen and Barra Spanja mm -hmm. um, Christina Chumless yeah um, they, uh, they've all helped um, to try and scale me which is an idea I got from Dries uh, because yeah, he has his office of the Octo, and, yeah. and he's kind of scaling himself there. Um, um, but as far as uh, I did, I've published a blog post. I'm sure you can put a link to on, on, yep, on the absolutely. podcast. Um, and uh, recalling from memory, uh, yeah, it reached over a hundred countries, um, and uh, I, I believe uh, it was like quarter of a million people that it actually touched that campaign. Yeah. Um, and the, the 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 actual video was watched, um, you know, many thousands of times. Um, and I hope that some some of the people that watched it weren't from the echo chamber. That it, it must have been from beyond. Right. So I'm going to embed that in the post with this podcast. Mm. Um, I mean, you, uh, on that day, because uh, it was a very anxious time, because uh, all of these pieces had to come together in in, in time. But the, the Drupal people tend to prevaricate and. 
Uh, but it all happened quite nicely on the day. And I, I live only about one mile from the station. And on that day, my phone battery went flat in the time because there were so many retweets and mentions <laughs> and uh, messages. Um, and my phone just didn't work that whole day. Between your house and the yeah. station, it went flat. Yeah. Wow. I couldn't use it the whole day, which wow. was really quite exciting, actually. <laughs> um, the, the, other, the, the other really, really nice piece for me of that campaign was I was scheduled to go to Antwerp and spend a day with Dries oh, in yeah. any case. Yeah. So we got him to read our script as well. And he's included in the video as well as, you, you know, regular community members. Well, that was the whole the point. It wasn't supposed to be the famous people. Right. We didn't, we didn't really want superstars, but because I was seeing Dries anyway, we yeah, really yeah, figured yeah. we should get Dries in the thing. <laughs> and, um, and, and I also did, uh, and I was actually that there, they to record interviews with Dries and, and there are three really nice podcasts um, that sort of happened at the same for me it was all the same period and there's the the one moment where uh, Dries and I visited the dorm room where he invented Drupal and he walked in for the first time in 15 years and and uh, it's I really really highly yeah, recommend it it's, it's kind of really special and I will link to all of this stuff yeah. so um, follow at Drupal and at DrupalCon and all of those accounts I'm at Horn Cologne and I also try and you know multiply similar sort of messages and, and I really like we, we both really like so, so there's an important thing I should say um, one of the, the messages that I introduced was that um, there is a, a directory of all of the accounts that drew associated officially with Drupal uh -huh. on the bottom of the footer uh, on every page in Drupal.org. Okay. Click on that and you'll see a list. But most importantly on that page is a link to a form which is a social media request form and I welcome anybody to fill that form in. Uh -huh. uh, there's a PDF attached to the form right. which explains what's um, appropriate to go on the social media channels because it's um, very important that no one individual or organization gets an unfair um, promotion uh, yeah, mm. it's not a commercial thing okay. but, so there's some rules but uh, you fill that in it comes to me and it also goes to some people at the Drupal Association this is um, which means that you can be the eyes and ears for me uh -huh. and then I can amplify the, the success of what you're doing so Fantastic. I'd like to support camps um, if you're doing something interesting with Drupal so it could be that um, yeah, your, your organization has built something really amazing um, that is very very special and more people should know about it mm -hmm. uh, so the, on the footer of every page of Drupal.org, and I'm obviously going to link to this, um, there's a place where if you've got somebody to say to all of Drupal, you've got your shot at it. Yeah. And look at the policy. If he thinks it's cool, you know, yeah. you could go out to 65,000 people on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. But the, the other thing to, to say is that um, you know, try, try and copy what the official accounts do. Maybe look at the way we promote DrupalCon and then take that to your accounts. Um, because I think a lot of people struggle with uh, how to do the build up to these events mm -hmm. to kind of raise awareness and it's a really important um, vehicle to um, get the word out and you should never underestimate who you might reach by doing that okay Paul thanks for everything you do it's really really cool and thanks for taking the time to, to, to speak with me today yeah thank you It is community software, backed by us, the Drupal community. Tens of thousands of developers, companies, organizations, and individuals from around the world. We build Drupal to empower everyone. Not just developers. To communicate, shape the future. And realize your visions in the digital world. Drupal 8 is made by us for you. More than 3,000 of us have contributed code and thousands more have contributed in other ways to Drupal 8 over the last five years. Building on more than a decade of previous Drupal community development. We have also combined forces and shared the technology with thousands of our friends in other open source software communities to bring you Drupal 8. 
Well, who uses Drupal? Individuals, schools, and community groups use Drupal to build communities. Drupal helps governments, universities, charities, humanitarian groups, and non-governmental organizations communicate with their constituents and improve the world. Everyone, from startups to some of the biggest companies in the world, are building our digital future with Drupal. Drupal is people. Drupal is community. Drupal is contribution. Drupal is technology. Drupal 8 is made by us for you. Thank 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 you, everyone, for contributing to Drupal in any way and for making Drupal what it is today. Thank you.